Hello and welcome back to the happiest place on earth today playing with our metal deck opponent calling the flip All right, we lost the flip. I mean if we've lost the game, right? I'm just kidding Very over dramatic Okay, opponent goes first very cool Ooh, Dureladon It's not very good with this hand This hand's not good to begin with so We'll see what we can rip off the top. Bulbasaur. Very nice. Do we just get obliterated? Quick ball. Very nice. I think one of our better um, draws is to access a support that can reset our hand or to get our Jirachi. Yup. Pitching Marnie. Please. I wanted them to Marnie us. Obviously not on the first turn, but you know. At some point in time. Rip. Oh, okay. I think we're just going to go full caveman and poke this Bulbasaur. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Pain intensifies. I hope they don't retreat into that. That's really good. Ivy Soar. Ivy Soar's gonna tank a bunch of hits. Sure. Seems logical. Opponent, no supporter. Oh, uh, that's not good, dude! Lucky Shuffle. Let's see what's prized. Oh no! Little, little Kling's gone. Um, okay. Chorus, not very exciting. Ah, uh, geez. I believe N and Marnie are prized. Dear God. Uh, we're gonna be stuck for a while. Enjoy the show. Well, let's turn to Vegan Soar. Okay, they uh, must have drawn that Grookey. Okay, Rilla Boom is actually a very huge concern. Sure. Aww. That is so good with the stadium. This is pretty great, too. I think, uh, think we're doomed, boys. If they have another grass, um, the next turn they can just search for Venus and start blasting stuff. Yeah, not good. Not good. Throttle. Interesting. Sure. There you go. Good turtwig. Turtwig and Trico. Awesome. Okay. This is, a uh, Very sad. I think I need a wait. <laughs> uh, the universe is testing me. Okay. Not good, boys. At least if they play two more dudes, I draw two more cards, right? One. Two. This is, uh, very awkward. That's pretty great. Same thing, Caitlin. You make Marnie. Logical. So we know there's a grottle in their hand. Sure. I think this might go into Venusaur. 
This is just enough for it to attack. Yep. I hate being right. At least we can scoop up net and prevent a knockout. Is that the move, though? Dude, this thing has 160 HP. Maniac. Oh, they retreat. Oh, that's pretty good. That's big value. <laughs> yeah, no N or Marnie to be seen in our deck. Aw, oh, jeez, Scroll Vile's nuts. Okay, not very useful. Alright, what do we do? I think we cry. Ah, oh, jeez. I think we just cry. Yeah, I'd rather have uh, five new cards than seven terrible ones. Oh, lovely. Just gotta do the good old shuffle-roo. At least we have this. That's like the only saving grace. Oh, man. Sure. Same difference if we had uh, waited. Actually, no, we played our supports. So we're gonna have done this to dunk that. Okay, ideally, I rip a metal somewhere. Ideally, I rip a metal for turn. It's like just power beam stuff. Sure. Give me a something, I don't know. How about we rip a metal and hit Guzma with this and just blast this Venusaur into the oblivion? Dude, they can just search for two Pokemon every single turn. I feel like once this evolves, it's going to be an issue. There's a lot of issues going on here. Oh no. Do they have red candy? Is Thwacky prize? This has been sitting here for like two turns. Also, I don't think they want a Marnios, considering they're just searching right now. I don't think they want to give us two cards. Jesus. This is the greatest beatdown I've seen in my life. Just gonna crack a tune for, for giggles. Are we gonna slash attack this? That'd be sad. At least it wouldn't die. So Torterra is a very massive threat. Um, it only takes one grass energy for it to attack because of this Venusaur. So I'm a little scared. We're not really equipped to deal with Torterra. Especially not in this stage of the game. <laughs> they did not... Oh, Copper Raja. Nice. I think we're going to fire Professor Waifu here. Let's be logical. One, two, three. This might evolve next turn, I don't know. This hand is not great. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Torterra is three evolutions. It's 150. If this evolves, it'll kill this. So, yeah. Also, we're just gonna power beam this. Or, metal sharpener this. Okay, okay. Sure. This is not great. That is not what we needed. Just saying. Yeah, we can't play this because uh, the basics here. Here we go, beat down city. This is uh been chilling here. Oh Jesus. 
this game just gets worse <laughs> by the second. Um, well, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, Jesus, now it is. The apocalypse has arrived. Okay, so say they knock this out some way, somehow, right? Uh, we can Raihan, give this an energy, saucer this energy, and then just skateboard this. So this will trade with Torterra. Assuming they can bop this right now. Okay, there's the wacky. Uh, Christ. Threats everywhere, okay. It's a Rudy. So they're not gonna evolve. this thing. Here we go. This is still a lot of damage. This is 180 HP. None of these will kill it. Oh, man. I need a line where I can just put two energies on this. Oh, resistance. It's everything I wanted and more. These are not the business, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. The most I can add on to this right now is one energy. By using switch antics, right? I'm trying to think. I think it's just gonna die. It's just inevitable. I think if they get prizes, they might end up getting one of the the, the subtitle. That's clearly the best target here. So if we assess this board, they have three main attackers, Torterra, Septile, and then this would be the third one. This is a trifecta of chaos. Say we heal it for 120. Right. Still gonna get bopped. Do we use the ghetto metal sharpener? Uh let's see. I'm trying to think. What if we just retreat then play Mallow Lana? Bring that back to the f no. I got an idea. Let's uh, let's hope it works. Check this out. Check this out. We're being sneaky. We're being sneaky. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, why can't I retreat? Oh, because we oh we're stupid. Okay, we had to play Malolana. Okay. My bad, my bad. You can't retreat twice, that's cheating. Okay, maybe I wasted this board. Anyways, Raihan instantly pumps us out. I think things get a little better once this is cleared because it has so much HP. I'm trying to think of what we want to search for though. I guess the biggest incentive that I played this is in case they just Marnie us. It's a very unlikely scenario, but yeah. Okay. They got the cricket hot. Sure. They're getting ready for the septile. Oh, man. That's gonna hit like a truck. I think there's 20 for each uh, grass in play. And the Venusaur doubles it. Yup. This thing can't two for one anything because it's gonna just take too much damage. Ah oh, man. Yep. 
This can retreat for free at least. It will just pivot. Oh boy! Gee willikers. Okay, what the hell do we want, man? Samazenta, a little slow. Bro. Bro, help me, bro. This is wildly terrible. Cling. Cling. This gets cling, but we need a rare candy. This is mega awkward. Maybe Chorus. As terrible as that sounds. This also accesses Juniper. Or another Raihan for hot trash. So, go, go. Clink. Okay, that's awesome. So, we might clink and then play Chorus. Oh, they didn't take the set tile. Interesting. They took this thing's Evo. I just realized that. Okay. Maybe I should care. Because they threw two energies on it. I'm really scared now. That's a cool attack. This card hits for a lot of damage. It's actually a nice cheap attacker. Decent HP. Hello. Dude, please stop. Dude, please. By some miracle, we have four to five. Oh, that's uh, that's what you call an uh oh stinky. Okay. Okay, I guess the energies don't do much on this. It's just like a, is this bait. <laughs> Being jabated. They're not gonna oko this, which is nice. I need a way to deal with this. This is what's making uh, life difficult. At least it's only dealing 80 damage. That's awkward. Look at this. If this Pokemon has 8 damage counters or more, attack does nothing. Scammed. The boy. Hold up. Hold up. Not so fast. If we don't care about card advantage, we just um, get Mallow Lana. Chuck this out of the way, right? And then put in the bronze ore, then bronze ore retreats. Okay. Where we get slightly punished with this though is if we had deployed the Jirachi with the board, then we would have gotten a card off of it. Jesus. Oh man. I feel like this is the move. I feel like this is the move. Big brain technology. Get the hell... Okay. I think we're actually in a favorable position now. Like... Okay. This is actually fine. They have so many cards. This converts into three cards for us. We ate. We ate. We've turned this train wreck around. Although the game's not over, I'm a lot happier than I was 20 minutes ago. I don't know if I've been playing this game for 20 minutes or not, but I can sure as hell tell you we're happy. Yeah, they're not vomiting energies anymore. And this looks more silly the longer we look at it. We do need to be mindful. We don't have access to Guzma anymore. We still have Lysander. This dude not doing much. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Huh. 
vitalizer. Okay. What are we getting, bud? Not many choices, because this is a three-stager. Sure. Turtle Gang. Port only has nine cards in deck. Holy moly. We have 33 cards in our deck. This is a slow boomer deck. This Copper Raja is just going to run over everything. It has resistance plus 30 less damage. Can you imagine an elephant wearing goggles? He looks silly. Okay, this is not doing anything. I can assure you that. Okay. This, uh, this has a helmet. Can you imagine a turtle wearing a helmet? Okay, very nice. Very impressive. Okay, this is actually a decent draw. We'll need this somewhere, right? I think I'm going to spread it onto the uh, clink. That's fine. Oh, that's that's very good. This is a quality unit. This thing hits for a million. Okay. Let's just move everything over to this Heatran. We do need a fire unit to maximize its power. This is hilarious, though. Because it does nothing in this matchup. We are, we are, we are. We're taking a prize. Get the hell. Oh, love it. I love this game. I think we drive at Chorus and uh, Guzma. Okay. Very beautiful. I'm not going to lie, they had a very sweet setup. I think what actually changed this game was this uh, Malo Lana. Straight up MVP of this game. Yeah, we played it twice, right? Sure. They have three cards in deck. I think this thing will mow down their squad before they deck out. Just letting you know. Okay. Get back to Torterra. Torterra's not punching for much. They got three Evos. Sure. Torterra hits this for 90. Where are my fire energies? It's a, it's a million dollar question. Dude, so Torterra hits this for 90, it goes to 100. Then I heal. It goes to 130. They hit it for 90 again. Yeah, it goes to 40. This thing will just soak. The only thing I miss from this list is playing Crystal Cave. It's good versus the spread decks. And it just makes this thing just reactivate quicker. Especially when you just maintain control and they can't really attack it. Sure. Here we go. Yeah, here comes Torterra. They got the float stone. Oh, never mind. They must have all of this turn. My bad. My bad. Okay, okay, okay. How about you don't Torterra me? Bruh. Get the hell. Nice pot helmet. I got goggles. Dude, there's our cards. Quality units. It's actually impossible for them to win. At this angle. Yeah. Good game, opponent. Oh my god. Good thing we didn't rage quit this game. Just look at that. 10 30. 10 30. That's my bedtime. Welcome back to game two. Opponent wants to go second. Okay. We're going to go first for them. You got it, bud. Can we do better? Okay, this is way better than the hand from last game. Let me nest ball first before I heavy ball. More often than not, I have heavy balled into nothingness. Okay, little elephant. Little elephants here. Uh, 
Clink, clink, clang. Dude, I think we have all of our basics. I'm very convinced we have all of our basics. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's no way to accelerate that. That's the problem, this Copper Raja. It's just going to be slow and dopey. Okay, we need to think very carefully. Uh, I feel like this is good because we have switch and we just get max value. I think we just need to focus on setting up and, uh, yep. Let's play Trainer's Mail. Uh, let's threaten them with an N. Make them play, play into it. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna fire these. That seems acceptable. And I think we might want Clink. Start turboing out our strategy. Okay. Okay, this is a very strong start, unlike the other game. Sure. I could have Ultra Bolt for the, the little guy, the little little elephant, but I want to set this up. It's, uh, it's my prime objective. It's, it's our way of acceleration, right? Yeah, this is cool and a big dumb body, but it's not doing much. Okay, hopefully they don't play that many cards, because I want to fire an N. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. You want to search for three Pokemon? How about a time walk? Sure. Which big dum dum are they getting? I didn't realize some grass let's play heavy ball. Go grab Torterra right now. Grottle. This this makes very little sense, right? Cause if I shuffle the grottle in, it's like if this, this if this heavy ball had shoveled back into their deck and they redrew it, they probably could have played it. Dude, this is so nuts. I, just, I don't think it matters. Just go grab three random Pokemon. I think I'm going to play the Goggles on this. If you guys have seen Goggles on Zamazenta, it's one of the most obnoxious things on the planet. Other than myself, I am fairly obnoxious. And waiting for my opponent is also obnoxious. Okay, very cool, very cool. Nice chat. Okay, okay. Ooh, basic. Nice. Deploy, deploy. I'm going to fire this N. Awesome. Hmm. Can't say this hand's really good. Fix it. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's not the end of the world. Um. I think we start setting up this attacker. Um. Let's see. One of the better things to get here is Duraludon. Don't want to get Duraldon on right now. Not necessarily. It doesn't do us much good. And there's no incentive to play Lusamine right now. Or we can't right now, but what I meant was to play this Poke Gear right now. I think we should just wait a turn. I think we're fine. This is an awesome card, not gonna lie, and it's uh it's gonna help. Sure. I think they withdrew the mobile sore. Sure. Where's your grottle now, bud? Trico. Yeah, they should have waited to play that heavy ball. I need to hit my skateboard. Sure. Okay, so this is where the game will get tough. I don't have a second way of disrupting this. Quadruple plus Sceptile will just bury them out of this. Yup. Oh god. It's the Trinity. I, I don't think waking up the uh, super relevant. Raihan, not great. Uh, let's see what this grabs. Of course, that's actually one of the stronger draws. I think.
think we're going to fire this max value chorus. Do I want to start charging up somebody? Okay. So if we hit rare candy, I'll be very happy. Let's thin down the deck. It's only things on the deck by one card. Rare candy. No rare candy. Okay, that's fine. We're so close to attacking with this. Let me think. We have access to Bronzor. Bronzong. I think I'm just going to manually evolve this. Seems logical. Considering uh, we have the evolution in our hand. Uh, I think we're good. Not much to it. We're not getting that much value getting inside of the active spot. Sure. Here we go. Both decks doing what they want to do. I think the important thing to note is I have Lysander plus a skateboard. So I can get this the hell out of here and then start blasting something. This hits for a humble 130. Genesect, okay. I think Genesect's a little slow in this matchup. I think Genesect's slow in general without Venusaur, it's not very good. Even with Venusaur, a lot of her stuff has resistance. Except for this dummy. Okay. Dude, this dude's just going to town. I'm going to evaluate what they're getting. I'm more than likely going to hit Rillaboom. Or this Thwacky. Yeah, the squad. Okay. Real booms what actually throws energies in play. Let's see what this gets. Oh, that is insane. This gets N. But they also have the two things out. Yeah, they have these out, so and it's not as exciting as it looks. Theoretically, yeah, it's awesome, but not here. Let me think. I think I'm going to fire this first. The choice is not that. We want Bronzong or Copper Raja. This is fine. And then we're going to play Kling Kling. Yeah, this is a little absurd. And then we're going to play the board. I'm going to put this here. Retreat. Force that out. Get over here. And Hadoken. This is going to be a repeat of the last game. That's pretty decent. Can't say our supporter is uh, good here. Either of them. This does Air Bud. Sure, that's fine. The damage has been done with this board. This mean just grabs uh, probably Lysander and Colrus maybe. We'll see. Sure. I think we'll be able to pick it off again before they set up.
I think one of the most perfect draws we get is Guzma. Not really concerned. Three evolutions. Three evos. 150. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but we're going to still bash him for a bunch of damage. Oh, I see. Sometimes you get lucky. I admit that. That was very lucky. So, how to win a game? There's three components. Luck, skill, and victory. You obviously need victory to win. But you're destined to win sometimes. That's where the victory comes into play. You know what? I don't even know if that made sense. Whatever. I'm just high off this copper Raja. Okay. Very cool. That's not going to do much. Really isn't. Alright, alright, alright. Cool, cool. Uh, let's see. 130 resistance. Take 100. It's kind of awkward. I always think about playing this. I'm like, eh, no respect. No respect at all. Sure. I don't think we'll get bit for not playing this. Sure. Say they do kill it, right? I don't think they'll kill it. Not at this rate. Thinking, thinking, thinking. We're not going to be stupid and do this because uh, we can read sometimes. We have access to Floatstone plus Lysander, so a lot of chaos can happen. Sam Zente will just uh, pop on in. Actually, that's actually problematic. Okay, not as easy as I thought. I think one of the cornerstones of this game is me not playing this. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, however, if they knock this out, we have access to Raihan, which can grab Bronzong. Bronzong can do a bunch of antics, sure. Here we also have Metal Saucer. Yeah, if they somehow knock us out, this will hit for 200. We saw, uh, we also have a Heatran somewhere in our deck. Are you gonna Sceptile me? That's pretty good. Sure. Portera, he's back. Okay. Things look a little bit more grim now. I'm just thinking in my head. I could floatstone this, Lysander that, bop it. Is that worth it? No, this is way too much damage. Hello. I think Bronzong is one of the best draws. One, two, three, four, five, two hundred. Two hundred minus seventy minus thirty. That's a hundred. We can count, boys. This is fine.
One of the best draws would have been scoop up. No way in hell we fire this. Try to think. Do we swing like a maniac? Swinging like a maniac seems like a viable option. Yeah, I'm just gonna force him to KO this. And then this will just revenge kill anything under Lysander. I think this needs to try to blast Torterra. Oh, it's short by 10. No! Yeah, this gives 40 HP. I didn't forget about that. Okay, this is not good. Oh, that's also not good for them. Did they miscalculate that? That's, uh, that's mega awkward. Yup. That is very awkward, my friend. The frying pan doesn't change too much math. They just have such a high damage output. This thing has so much HP because of this Krikatoon. Ah, oh, man. This fire energy is not good without the Heatran. So, I think we just have to poke. Very ghetto. kind of crazy because in the first game they had such a huge advantage and this game we had a huge advantage that just shows you the power of this format decks have a lot of potential it's triumph of the human spirit as I call it okay My energies. Okay, I think one of our best draws is somewhere. There's Heatran. Heatran's a little awkward. Let's think about this. Okay, what do we really, really, really want? Is this the move? It's one of the best things we could get, for sure. Okay. We know for a fact we're not obliterating this Torterra. Yeah, this is... that just warped the math so hard. Dang, man. This thing's just in the way. I think it would have been smarter to send this. Okay, that's where I made my little, little error. This has 20 more HP. One, two, three, four. 
It would hit for 200. Yeah, this would have survived with the... F no, it wouldn't. Okay, makes no difference what I sent. Okay, this is a little scary. Sure. Yikes. They're still they're still at it. To find a way to trade with this. That's fine. There might be a way to trade with this. I need Mount Cornet though. Because we can revenge blast it. And yeah, we're not going to miss this too much if it's gone. I'm almost getting this out of the active spot. Because I need Mount Cornet for just attachments. Because if I move two here, right? I only have one left on it. And this will take, you know, like two turns just to power up again. Which is a little awkward. I think we need Raihan as a backup plan. I think we just need to go for it. Because this makes all these really hard to kill. I'm trying to think I want Copper Roger back in the deck. It might be the way to turn this around. I'm gonna leave this vacant on the bench. This vacant spot. Okay. Useful. This is just gonna melt though. This only has 10 HP. We could awkwardly just bop it with Jirachi. <laughs> we can't use Stellar Wish though, obviously. Sure. Say they kill this, they need three more prizes. I might be able to stall long enough until Copper Roger comes out. By the time one of the knockout rolls rolls by, I might have Raihan. Okay, they didn't do much of anything. Yeah, I need my Mount Cornet, please. I don't think this Guzma is necessarily what's going to win the game. Oh, okay. Sweet. Got the Mount Coronet. I think I need to start setting up. Oh, there, there you is. Alright, let's get some energies. Only downside to the strategy, it's an all-in strategy. Because all of our energy are here, obviously. But I think we can afford a few knockouts. 
slap. I think the ultimate top deck is Raihan. It wouldn't necessarily set this up yet for an attack, but still. Because it would just accelerate two energies into play, uh, one from discard, and then we'll have um, Copper Raja. That may have been very hyper aggressive, but I don't regret it considering the pacing of this. We have, you know, a few turns to set up. I think Adamant's one of our strongest draws. Because Adamant can get uh, Copper Raja and Raihan. Yeah, that's literally almost half of our deck is Copper Raja, Raihan, Adamant. Sure. Oh my god, dreams come true. No, we pitch Adamin. I lied. Still not terrible. I'm, I'm thinking about the next composition. in the deck. I'm trying to think. Hypothetically, if we go into Kling Kling, that might be able to stall them a little bit longer. don't disagree with that because of the frying pan on it uh, I don't think we want to buy our metal energies I think we're good I think it may be possible I should have played that on there oh no that might have done us in They lie center this, then I'll get killed. Then I'll feel really foolish. But this one had 240. Oh, it's basics only, so never mind. Reading is tech. Okay, not much I could have done if it's a Lysander. Okay, so the only thing walling this off is uh, Torterra. Cricketune is a thorn in our side. You gonna obliterate us? Opponent in the think tank. We have rare candy, scoop up net. Turn remember what else is in the deck. 
But yeah, sorry for lying, the admin was in our deck. Okay, 190. Yeah, we don't have access to Lysander. Malolana's in the deck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we win. We actually win. No, this is 220. Dang it. That's 220, that's 220. Damn you, Cricketune. Gloria, very nice. I think we need to play this so we don't draw it again. Does that make sense? Because I'm going to fire off Chorus. This hand, uh, otherwise, is nothing. Ah, this hand also does nothing. Very cool. Sure. Are we dead? This is uh this is nerve wracking. No. Yeah, I think that's a good game. One, two, three, four, five. Two seventy. These games are pretty insane. Opponent played well. All right, looks like we're taking this to game three. So unfortunately we can't have a game three, our opponent needs to sleep, but GG's to them, those are some awesome games and hopefully you enjoyed.